Hi, my name is Rick and welcome to Digital Fortress. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download, install, and operate the new Yoroi Wallet. The Yoroi Wallet is a Chrome-based extension created by Emergo and it operates on the Cardano blockchain. Once you install the Yoroi Wallet, you can transfer ADA from any Cardano-enabled wallet in and out of Yoroi. It can also replace Daedalus altogether. I'm going, to show you how, I'm going to start by showing you how to download from the Chrome App Store. Let's get to that right away. I'll begin by launching Chrome. In Chrome, now I'm using a Mac, and it doesn't matter if you're using Mac or Windows, but in Chrome, you're going to select the App Store, then the Web Store. Once you get to the Web Store, you're going to search for Yoroi. Conduct your search, and it will show up in the list. And this is what it'll look like in your web browser once you go to the Chrome Web Store. On the right-hand side of your web browser of Chrome, you'll have a button that indicates Add to Chrome. Click it, and it says Add Yoroi. Add extension. Yoroi has been added to Chrome. It's that simple. Yoroi is now installed. Now we have to configure it and set it up with the 15-word passphrase. We begin by selecting the Yoroi Shield icon. Yoroi loads and we select the language. Mine is English. There's three available. And we select continue. You have the terms of service agreement. You check I agree with the terms of use after reading it and select continue. We're going to create a new wallet. We are not going to restore from backup. This would be a backup 15 word seed from Yoroi. We're going to do create new to create a new Yoroi wallet. We'll give it a wallet name, William Wallace's wallet. We're going to give it a password. Create personal wallet. This next screen is very important, like all screens are very important, but recovery phrase on the following screen, you'll see a set of 15 random words. This is your wallet backup phrase. It can be entered in any version of Yoroi in order to back up or restore your wallet's funds and private key. Check mark. Make sure nobody looks on your screen. Continue. Here are the 15 words. I'm going to pause a moment and write them down on paper. Keep this paper safe. Like any wallet I create online on YouTube videos, do not show your recovery phrases. I'm only showing them here for demonstration purposes. This compromises the wallet. Once you've written down the words, Select, yes, I've written it down. Then enter your recovery phrase. And once I've selected the past phrases in the correct order, this screen is enabled. I check I understand my money is held securely as a device only, not on the company servers, and I check I understand if ap applications are moved to another device or deleted. My money can only be recovered with the backup phrase that I've written down and saved in a secure place. Then press confirm. And at this point your wallet is created. Next, I'm going to put this over to the left side of my screen. Here's Yoroi up and running. Just a quick rundown on this. The shield icon is like a home button, and it's highlighted. It has this pinkish-orange color to it. It's highlighted, meaning you're on the home screen. It has the name of the wallet and the balance up here at the top center of the display, or at the top center of the browser. You have the Minotaur icon. You have the settings icon and then you go back to the home screen selecting the Yoroi Shield. What I'm going to do first is receive funds from Daedalus. So I'm going to select Receive and open a Daedalus wallet. Here I have my Daedalus wallet. I'm going to switch to Gretel. That's my test wallet for this example. To receive funds, I'm going to receive here into my wallet, William Wallace, and this is the address Notice that it's much different than a Daedalus address. I hit copy on the web browser and it says you have successfully copied the wallet address. I go to Daedalus wallet to send. 
paste the receiver address. Enter the amount. It calculates the fees. Hit next. After entering the spending password, I hit send. And over here on the Euroi wallet, I'm going to go to the transaction screen and it's already arrived. Very quick turnaround. So that's how you receive funds. Next I'm going to send back to Daedalus. So I select send. On my Daedalus wallet Gretel, I'm going to select receive. Copy the receiving address. Paste it here. Notice it's much longer than the Euro address. The amount I'm going to send back is 2. Enter the password. Select send and back it goes. So I'm going to go to the Gretel home screen and observe that the transaction of two returns. And there it is. So here's my sent and received from Daedalus, received, then sent back from Euroi. Next I'm going to show you basic operations of the settings using the settings icon. And much like Daedalus, you probably notice the operation of Euroi is very similar to Daedalus, so if you're familiar with Daedalus, this is very helpful. But under General's tab, you simply select, set your language. In the Wallets tab, you can set the wallet name, and you can set the password from here. It has the terms of use. If you want to review them again, or cure insomnia, there you go. You have support. Support is very useful right here inside the wallet, again, similar to Daedalus. Frequently asked questions. If you experience issues, please see the fact on the Roy website. So it has a link right here that will open up a new web browser to the FAC. If you have a problem and you want to request support, you select it from here on this link. And ultimately, if you have to send logs, you can select download them from here, and it will download the log files where you can send them off. And I'm just going to close that out. For the next part of this video, I have two uh, fresh wallet installations. So I've got a fresh installation of Euroi on the left hand side, and on the right hand side, I have a wallet I'm going to restore called Megatron. I'm not going to restore it, I'm going to import this wallet Megatron into Optimus Prime over here. The point of doing this is if you have a Daedalus wallet that does not work, and you need to import that wallet into your ROI, you can do it using this method. That's what it's designed for. We're going to select the Minotaur. This part isn't entirely relevant right now. Well, the part we need down here is where it says attention. Your ROI and Daedalus wallets use different key schemes and they each have a separate format of address. So what I have to do here is I have to put in the original 12 word recovery phrase for the original Daedalus wallet. It's not going to create a new Daedalus wallet. It's going to withdraw the funds from that wallet and insert them into this wallet. Let's see how it's done, and that will make more sense. So I'm going to take this question. Do you have access to a working copy of your Daedalus wallet? Let's say the answer is no. I'm going to use the 12-word recovery phrase to transfer the funds from that wallet into this one, Euroi. Transfer funds. Now I enter the recovery phrase for that wallet that will no longer work. In this case, it's the Megatron on the right hand side. So we're going to use option. I'm sorry, option is the first word. And when I type it in, if I use the space bar, space doesn't, it's not accepted, but it will be in the future. It will allow you to use space bar. For now, use tab or enter to complete the passphrase. Then I type in the next word and continue. And you don't have to type in all the letters. Once you have a unique word, you can just hit enter or tab and it will finish it for you.
And once I have the 12 words entered correctly, select Next. And once I've selected Next, I'm going to select Transfer Funds. You have to select the Transfer Funds button to complete the process. Now I have a good indication that the transaction is pending. Since I can see the wallet on the right, I can see over here, transaction pending. But imagine if your wallet was inoperative, you wouldn't be able to see this part on the right. You would have positive confirmation here in your ROI. I think that's an amazing feature. This was a very well done by Emergo, very well executed. Uh, your ROI is easy to see and understand because it, it works very much like Daedalus, so there's not a big learning curve. And now I can see that the incoming pending confirmation, here's, I have the ADA balance here minus the transaction fee. So there's a cost associated with restoring a wallet. I can see over here on the original wallet minus 10 and that wallet is now at zero. So I've recovered the entire thing. Great feature. So the last thing I have for you on this Euroi video is some questions that I suspect could be frequent, frequently asked questions. So I'm gonna, I wrote some down and came up with some answers for them. The first one is, can I have multiple Euroi wallets? The answer is yes, you can, but it's a function of Chrome. You have to have multiple Chrome accounts in order to have multiple Euroi wallets. Okay, so the next question is, can I use Euroi offline? The answer is no. It's an online wallet. You must be connected to the internet. The next question is, do I still need Daedalus if I'm using Euroi? The answer is no. You no longer need Daedalus if you're using Euroi. Euroi stands on its own. But, like all other wallets, you must keep Euroi safe. Uh, that's all I got for the frequent, frequently asked questions now. You can leave some uh, questions down in the comments if you have more. That would be helpful. That's all I have for you. Thank you to all the skilled professionals at Emergo who made it possible in putting your OE together. Fantastic wallet, very easy to use. Looks a lot like Daedalus. I'm very thankful that this is out and it's available for people to use. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching Digital Fortress. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.